Period. The hair is done. It's giving 30 inch plus down. Oh my god, I just got my wax. Uh, that was probably like the worst wax I've had in a minute. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video. This video, we're going to be doing a maintenance vlog. So, I can't wait to get my life together. If you can tell right now, I look like a hot fucking mess but i look like a cute hot mess i'm i feel pretty good right now yeah so we gotta get our life together this vlog i need to get my nails done i need to get a coochie wax get my hair done and i need to clean the fuck out of my house because i feel like a part of maintenance is having a clean home so we're gonna do all that together in this vlog so if you want to keep watching stay tuned we're about to go to the gym guys ah, ah. I got some food and now I'm gonna get my nails done because my nails <laughs> my nails they're outgrown nails done and I'm just a French girl through and through I probably should change it up it's summertime it's literally the first day of June which is why this is such a great time to do it um a maintenance vlog it's like it's the first of the month you want to get yourself together reset all that good stuff but yeah so it's the first of June so I feel like I should be getting like blue or purple french tip but i'm still gonna get french <laughs> i'm just a french type of girl all year round
done. I low key kind of hate my nails. I don't know. I love my toes. I kind of hate my nails. I don't know why. They're just too, a little too wide. Like I like them to be narrower and I wanted them to be deeper. Like I didn't want the the arch to be like a V. I wanted it to be like more round. If that makes sense. It's close to what I wanted, but it's not exactly what I wanted. And I low key kind of hate it because this one is see through. You can see my whole real nail. But it's fine. At least I got a fresh new set. And now I'm about to head to Trader Joe's. I'm gonna give myself um, a limit of 10 items. I just wanted to get a little bit before I start going crazy. Like, I'm slowly getting back into cooking and stuff. Are you turning? Yeah. I'm like slowly getting back into cooking. So, yeah. I'm super proud of myself. I only spent $57. Period. I want to figure out, like, what do I want to do with my hair this week? Do I want to keep it curly? Do I want to go straight? What do I want? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I want to do something like cute but classy. I'm on my way home now because it's a gloomy day in Atlanta. And if you're in Atlanta, this is the weekend that half the city's water got shut down. So my bestie is like staying at my house right now because she lives like on the other side of town and her water went off. So she came to my house earlier, showered, worked out with me. Now she's chilling at my house. She probably showered again. So I'm gonna go home and chill with her and then we're probably gonna make like some dinner. And then I'm gonna start cleaning my house, folding my laundry and shit, because that is part of maintenance. Clean body also needs a clean home to be in. And a clean home is equal to clear mind, so. Yeah, that's what we gonna get into. Okay, so before I take a shower, I'm gonna give you a quick haul of what I got from Trader Joe's. Bitch, guess what? Guess what they had? We went on a serious search for this. For you to get it and you got it to keep yeah. <laughs> Lychee! Guys, I literally love lychee so much and they had lychee on sale at Trader Joe's. I've never seen that. I don't know if that's a seasonal thing. Is it? Yeah. I got us some um, pizzas if you wanna have pizza later, maybe. Some frozen pizzas. I got a burrata and an arugula one, which I've never had before. One. I got some salmon, some corn. I got some hazelnut cookies, some hazelnut shortbread cookies. These are so good. You go to Trader Joe's. And if you like Nutella or like hazelnut chocolate, definitely try these out. They're so good. They're not good for you, but I do believe everybody should have at least one snack in their house at all times. I might have more than one because I also got the strawberry shortcake ones because I never tried these, but I figured my friend can help me eat them tonight if we eat them at all. I got some sparkling lemonade because this is so good. It's from Trader Joe's and it just makes me feel like I'm like on the Amalfi Coast when I drink this. So. I only got 10 things. Oh, let me show you my flowers. And I got some flowers, some summer colored flowers because you know, everything else in my life is like a neutral, like my nails. So I figured I'll get flowers that are colored, cute colors instead because I didn't get any color on my nails. Instead of getting white roses or whatever, I got some colorful flowers because it's summer. Yeah, so that's probably it for today. I'm either gonna clean in the morning or tonight, so I need to start with my glam room. So, 
yeah, I'm gonna go take a shower now and then I'll get back in base with y'all. Good morning. It is Sunday and I'm gonna start cleaning up. So let's do it. gonna schedule a wax and I'm supposed to go pick up some hair soon blah, blah, blah. anyways I'm picking up I'm picking back up on this maintenance vlog it's been two days my hair is still curly but I still need to get a wax and I still need to do my hair but I was just journaling I also think that journaling is a very important step in maintaining your mental health your mental wellness and I don't know like having a clear mind so I've been journaling and writing this morning as well um, and I've been writing out all my collabs and stuff because i have so many collabs actually like i have to be grateful and i am grateful it's really a good feeling it's really 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 a good feeling so i'm excited and i'm happy and i'm grateful and i just want to share that with you guys on my youtube page i feel like i'm gonna i feel like one of the main things is gonna be like the journey of content creation i feel like that's gonna be like a theme throughout a lot of my videos so I just wanted to update y'all, update the girlies who have watched everything and let y'all know like good things are happening too. I need to eat and I want to journal some more because honestly I got a little distracted like answering emails and journaling. So I want to journal more, just focus on that. So I'll probably journal a little bit more. I'm also going to do some laundry today, schedule a wax and plan the rest of my weekend out. I'm gonna start a new vlog, which I'm excited for because we are finna be lit the next week, okay? But I'm gonna save that for the next vlog. But yes, if you're watching this maintenance vlog, also make sure you subscribe, like, follow, but mainly subscribe because I'm so excited for like my next vlog. And I'm excited for this um, this week's video that I'm gonna drop. It won't be this maintenance video. It's gonna be a chit chat, get ready with me. And I, I haven't even edited the whole thing, but I already love it. So I'm super excited for all that to drop. Sorry, I'm looking at my iPad, bitch, I'm locked in. But yeah, we're gonna have a great time this weekend, which I'm, I'm, I'm excited to be like, getting my hair done, freshly waxed, 
fresh set of nails, bitch. I'm like, do I go get my lashes done? But I don't want to spend that type of money right now. Woo! I just love talking to you guys, and I'm in such a good mood right now. Like, I'm so happy. Like, I just feel like life is lifing. And I feel like I feel like this when I'm following my own dreams. And I feel like being in beauty school, it just makes me remember how much I love making content creation. And today I'm not at school, I'm at home fucking cranking out these fucking beauty collabs and talking to you guys and being excited for my next content. And like, I'm just super happy about that. So, and I'm grateful, so yeah. But like part of maintenance is also being who you are. So I just wanted to say like, whoever this message needs to find. If you find yourself like not really doing stuff that your dream self wants to do, if you find yourself like in a reality that's like not the reality that you want, I'm pushing you and encouraging you to do one or two things this week that make you feel like the girl you wanna be, like the girl that's in your head. If you're not there right now. Some people are who they think they are and some people are not who they think they are or who they want to be. Because some people, some of us are still working towards that, you know. So yeah, I want to encourage you and push you to do something that would make you feel like your dream self. Whether that's do some maintenance, get your nails done, do your hair, get your lashes done, go get some, go work out. Whether it's, I don't know, maybe you want to be a pianist. Go take a piano lesson. I don't know. Maybe you want to be a content creator. Go make a, go make a piece of content, sister. Maybe, maybe you want to be more chill. Maybe you want to be a housewife. Maybe you're sick of working. Girl, go outside and get you a drink at the bar somewhere and just be a housewife. And Or maybe just, just let everything go for an hour and manifest some housewife energy. If you want to be a housewife, I very much encourage you to just like dive into your feminine self like seriously dive into your feminine self and that masculine man who wants to take care of you will find himself on your path Ooh. yeah who knows maybe you want to be an actor girl go take that acting class girl i don't know i'm encouraging you <laughs> to go do something that your dream self wants okay yeah maybe you want to have a clothing brand bitch Research some, some wholesale vendors right now. Research some manufacturers. Research some seamstresses. Do something that makes you feel like that girl. I'm just encouraging that for you. For me today, it's definitely gonna be not sitting on this fucking couch. And honestly, my one of my dream goals is to like always have a clean home, low key, like 90% of the time. So my dream self would do laundry. So I'm gonna do some laundry today. Oh, and my dream self also wants to be a top YouTuber, so I'm gonna edit the fuck out of this video today. So those are the two things that I'm doing to maintain my like self-esteem, my confidence. I feel like I'm confident and I have high self-esteem when I'm doing things that correlate with like my dream reality. And when I'm not doing things that don't correlate with my dream reality, I start to feel real Almost. I just start to feel like I'm not myself, like I'm in somebody else's body. So yeah, I encourage you to go do something that your dream self would do. Good morning, motherfucking goddess queen. Good morning, goddess queen. It is motherfucking Friday. I'm trying to stop cursing, so let me redo that. Good morning, goddess queens. It is literally Friday. And today is the day that everything makes sense. Because, girl, I've been living in this afro for about... Woo! For about a week and a half now, probably. I don't know. It's only been a couple days since I last saw y'all, but like in total, I've been wearing this hair for a minute now like so yeah today's the day that that's all gonna change i have a hair appointment set up today i have a wax appointment and i'm gonna go do pilates with my friend this morning so come along for that the last thing that i'm gonna have to do too is clean my motherfucking house because it looks like a hot ass mess but i'm probably gonna do that tomorrow i might actually call somebody to do that because baby 
my house is a mess like a mess i swear oh god so yeah let's get ready for pilates ah! But today we went to Daily Pilates and it was amazing. It was like, it was challenging while also being like calm and like soothing and relaxing and rejuvenating. And the aesthetics are on fucking par. Um, I will ask Cassie the girl's name that was there, but she was great. I loved her so much. So yeah. Um, now we're gonna go get some coffee or a bevy, you know, a little bevy, bevy. And I'm gonna pick up my son real quick so that he can come with us and come outside, go for a walk. And yeah, then I'm gonna go home, shower, get my bundles together. I gotta figure out what bundles I'm gonna put in my hair. And we are gonna get this party on the motherfucking road. Hello, hello. I'm gonna go wash my hair myself and then let her wash it. Um, 
I've been obsessed with Real Housewives of Atlanta because I know that I just went through a breakup, but like I'm still open to love and I still want to be a housewife one day. I want to be a housewife that has her own money. Um, I still want to be a housewife one day. I still want to have a family. And my heart is open to receiving my man. And the love of my life, I'm still very open. So yeah, I've been watching Real Housewives of Atlanta because I'm in that, I'm in like, I'm in my house era, even though I don't have a man. So, so I'm gonna be washing my hair, so I'm gonna get down my little formula for today. Don't mind the running water, I think that running water is soothing. So, I'm using the Tea Tree Special to clarify my hair and get rid of all that dirt, um, debris, like sweat that's been up, building up in my hair for the past week and a half. It's 11.22, I need to do, I still need to get a haircut y'all because I need to cut this damage off. But I need to do my skincare, put on a quick outfit and get out of here. So I'm gonna do that and I'll probably see y'all at the appointment because my camera's about to die and I need to charge it. Y'all I'm fucking early. Don't sacrifice my marriage. Yes I did. Maybe I'm telling myself that But there ain't nothing that'll change that What good would it be If I knew how you felt about me yeah. It could've been right but I was wrong Only think about you when you're alone Part of me that cared is just gone And I know that I can't get caught up We could've been and we tried to pretend Every now and again we don't dream about, don't think about what we could have been No, I'm holding again Cause I know in the end you dream about, I think about what We could have been We could have been We could have been Period, the hair is done Another night It's been 30 inch plus Yeah, yeah. Here is my hair Hello Hello, 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 just gives like she got her life together i'm sorry that that's like what it is but that is what it is and like i feel like i got my life together now today and then I left my phone in my hair appointment so I drove off with a book camp then I had to drive off with a midtown then I missed my original appointment then they booked it for 7 45 but I just called them to see if they have an earlier one and they have one at 7 and it's 6 49 right now so I'm like let me clean my coochie real quick prep her for my girl and get on the motherfucking road it's only five minutes away so let's get our coochie 
It's 7.06 and I just got to the waxing place. I go to European Wax Center. I go to the one in Buckhead Court and I should have requested Dana, I believe. Is it Dana? I forgot. The girl I had last time was my favorite one that I ever had, but they're always really good. Make sure I got my key. worst wax i've had in a minute it didn't like hurt it, it hurt but like usually they don't hurt and like i'm telling y'all if y'all go to buckhead court um like the year i love european wax center i'm not gonna lie i need to try some other places but i love european wax center but today girl oh my god i like dana dana is like a perfectionist and like she gets it done all while talking to you and like still like <sighs> yeah so i like dana because she is like a perfectionist and gets every little inch and she there's you don't leave with a single hair on your coochie and she does it while all like make making sure like it doesn't really hurt like she she like guides you through it and she's like breathe in breathe out and like when she pulls like i feel like that's a big Thing. like I feel like don't just be ripping my fucking skin up oh my god so the girl that I had today first of all when I walked in she literally looked like she hadn't slept in like five days like her hair was a mess like her eyes look so tired I'm like hey girl what's up how you doing today she's like girl I'm good but everybody showed up for the appointments today and I'm the only person in here uh, I'm like I could tell bitch you look tired you look motherfucking tired but i'm like whatever girl the first strike the fucking wax was hot as fuck the wax was hot as fuck oh my god bitch are you trying to burn me like my coochie still is burning right now like i think my coochie went numb at some point <laughs> ah because she started plucking me in the end and i didn't even feel that shit so yeah first strike was the the fucking wax was hot as fuck second she just starts rambling and talking so much which is fine i love when they talk because it's distracting but she was talking so much where it was like she was like not doing her job right like she was like she was like not like i've looked up how you do waxes and you're supposed to like make a tab like when you spread the wax on you're supposed to make a tab to like pull up it felt like she wasn't making that tab because she kept trying to pull up the thing and like it was like she didn't make the tab so that she could just pull it up and like rip it off so she kept fake ripping it off like so it was like she was like pulling like that hair without like pulling it out oh my god bitch like you're supposed to just have a clean rip like oh my god there were so many times where there was not a clean rip i was like bitch i need you to just stop talking and just do what you gotta do and then i look down because she's like putting the oil on me like we're done and i'm like bitch you didn't even do no cleanup strips i look down bitch my coochie is it's almost bald but it's not bald enough like there's still little pieces here and there like i'm even about to go home and like pluck like she i asked her if she can get it and she did it again she went in and like did some cleanup strips and plucked me but i'm literally about to go home and like pluck my own coochie so yeah that is just a reminder that girl if you do go to european wax center ask for dana because dana would never oh my god <clears throat> that was a fucking mess. Oh my god. Ugh. I'm scared to look at my coochie. Like, is there still. I hate when I like go get a service and it's not done so far. Like, <sighs> like I'm about to go home and wax it. But it's like, bitch, she. Usually when they do your butt, they only do like one strip on each side. But they can also usually do like your like butthole. Like, and she only did the one, two strips. So I feel like there's still hair down there. And I can't get the hair in my butt okay like i cannot get that hair like <sighs> what the fuck <clears throat> but yeah so we got our wax and now i'm gonna go home
Oh well, y'all, I'm so bothered. I just checked my coochie. And I used my little mirror. And my coochie looks bald, but it's not. They're still here. And I don't have the patience to pluck them out one by one. And nor can I reach my fucking butt cheeks like that. So, yeah. That just pissed me off because I still tipped her because I'm a punk. The lady was like, 20%? I said, no, $10. But I still didn't want to give her $10 because I knew they were still here on my coochie. There was literally still wax on my coochie, so I knew they were still here on my coochie. <sighs> That just pissed me off. And the thing is, she was up in there talking about other fucking service providers, bitch. Lock in. Lock in. So, yeah, but anyways, I need to start getting ready. <laughs> Like a candy store, and I'm a tried lord. You got me wanting more and more, more, more. Yellow. 